Stephen Timms. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. In 2011, the Home Office gave a licence to the US firm ETS to operate its TOEIC English language test to establish whether overseas students could speak English well enough to study in the UK. Nearly 60,000 students took that test over three years, but in 2014, as the Minister has said, Panorama exposed cheating at a number of TOEIC test centres and the ETS licence was withdrawn. In response, ETS promised to analyse its recordings of all the students who taken that test and they told the Home Office, having done that, later in 2014, that 96.5% of the students had either definitely or probably cheated. The Home Office seems to have failed even to ask the most basic questions about that absurd claim, now discredited, and that went ahead and cancelled the visas of over 30,000 students. Contrary to what the Minister has said, no appeal was available other than going back to your home country, and in reality there was no provision there to make an appeal. Thousands of innocent students had their futures destroyed. This morning, the original Panorama team has reported that ETS knew about the cheating well before the Panorama programme. It did nothing because it wanted to keep the revenue. The BBC has also reported the Home Office was told in 2012 by ETS whistleblowers, but instead of cancelling the licence then, allowed ETS to carry on for another two years. Thousands of innocent students were dragged into disaster as a result. Home Office failings have wrecked the lives of thousands of innocent people. The Home Secretary told the Home Affairs Committee a year ago that too many people had been hurt and that a resolution was needed, but there's been no progress since. Will the Minister now come forward with a straightforward mechanism promised by the previous Home Secretary two and a half years ago to enable innocent students to clear their names and rebuild their lives? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.